Hey, Dr. Derek Nielsen here, owner and founder of Kaizen Physical Therapy. Today I want to present to you three secrets of getting out of pain. But first, I got to say this because my lawyer makes me. So this is not a health recommendation for the individual. If you have pain, I do recommend seeking out a healthcare professional for help. Okay, now that that's over. A little bit about myself is I grew up in Utah. I went to school in Philadelphia. I worked in clinics where I treated two, three, or even four patients in an hour. What I found was my patients weren't getting the outcomes they wanted. They weren't getting back to doing the things they loved. And they were showing up two or three times a week for weeks or months. Oftentimes they would stop showing up because that's such a time investment and they weren't getting the results that they wanted. So I said, okay, I didn't go to school for seven years. I know I can offer a better product than what I'm giving. What can I do? And I found the clinic in Greensboro, North Carolina, where I went and worked for the next year, where we treated patients one-on-one. -on -one. We treated them one time a week. And I found that we were able to get them back to doing the activities they wanted, get them out of pain without needing unnecessary uh, pain meds, injections, or even surgery. And I found that we got there a lot faster with a lot less visits. And the way we did it was through these three secrets right here. So let's jump right into it. Secret number one is the joint by joint approach. What that is, is every joint in the body is either meant to be more mobile, so it moves a lot more, um, or it's more stable, so it's stronger, it just doesn't move as much. So your wrist is a lot more mobile, your elbow is a lot more stable, your shoulder is a lot more mobile, and it works like that. So it's, it's in every other type uh, setting here. So wrist mobile, elbow stable, shoulder mobile, upper back stable, mid back mobile, low back stable, and so on, every other. Now what can happen is joints can flip roles. Over time, a joint that's supposed to be more mobile can become more stable, it's just not moving like it should. And a, a joint that becomes, that's supposed to be more stable becomes more mobile and it's moving more than it should. This can cause pain. So let's take, let's take low back pain, for example. I see a lot of times with patients in the clinic, um, they have low back pain, but the source of the pain is not their low back. The source of the pain is either above or below. Um, so a lot of times it'll be the hips just not moving like it should. So the hips supposed to be a lot more mobile of a joint and it's just not moving like it should. Or the upper back's just not moving like it should. And then what happens is the low back has to move more. So when it comes to the body, your, your body doesn't care about, okay, I know that this joint's supposed to be more mobile. I know this joint's supposed to be more stable. All it cares, is about, cares about is the task that you ask it to do. So when you go and pick up something off of the ground, it doesn't say, my hip's supposed to do most of the work. My low back's supposed to be more stable. It doesn't really care. It just wants to get there. And while that's, a, that's an advantage to us, it can also be a disadvantage because over time, if something's uh, not participating like it's meant to, um, it can cause pain. So we've gotta find out what joints are supposed to be more mobile, what joints are supposed to be more stable, and make sure they're acting that way. Okay, secret number two is referral pain. Now, everybody knows what referral pain when it is when it comes to a heart attack. It's some sort of arm, arm symptoms, and then that's indicative that you can be having uh, and a heart attack could be coming. Well, muscle pain can be no different. So like shoulder pain, shoulder pain in the front here, I see it quite a bit, is a referral, referral symptoms from the shoulder blade. So just to the inside of the shoulder can be a little bit tender, and then the muscles can refer out into the shoulder. Once we get those muscles to calm down, um, the shoulder pain goes away. Um, another one is sciatica, so tingling, numbness, pins and needles down into the, the leg, which it can be in the buttocks, it can be down to the knee, or it can be as far down into the foot. A lot of people automatically want to think, oh, you have a herniated disc, but what I found is a lot of times it's just referral pain from somewhere in the hip. The muscle is just referring down. When we get the muscle to calm down, relax, all of a sudden sciatica goes away. Okay, so the two, joint by joint approach, muscle referral. And that leads me into three. Secret number three is if we get these first two right, 
it leads us into secret number three, which is more exercise does not equal better exercise. So I found back, back to when I was working in a traditional clinic, I found that I, all I could give was just exercise. Here, you do this exercise, you do this exercise, you do this exercise. And that's all I was giving. Because I wasn't assessing, I wasn't able to find, look at the joint by joint approach, I wasn't able to look at the referral pain. So if we get these first two right, it typically is one to three exercises per visit in order to get somebody out of pain and moving into the direction that they want. So it's really not more exercise. Now I'm not talking about if somebody has like a fitness goal, like their CrossFit competition, or they've got some sort of fitness goal. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about rehabilitation, get, getting you out of pain, getting you back to doing the things you want to do. It's not about more exercise. It's about better exercise by looking at secret number one and secret number two. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Look for the uh, video in the next, the next day in your email inbox. And let me know if you have any questions. You can always just shoot me a reply if you'd like to uh, through this email. I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks so much.